ABSL Summit. Beyond Tomorrow. Building a Sustainable Future. Now we're going to have a fire debate. A fire debate. I've never done a fire debate. I have no idea what it is, but we will try. Please welcome me, uh, help me to welcome on the stage Dominika Bettman, CEO Siemens Polska. Thank you, Dominika. Please, I mean, take whichever seat you want, just grab a mic. And Kamil Wyszkowski, who is going to be the contender. Kamil is the rep Yes, claps, claps, claps. Kamil is the representative and president of the board, United Nations Global Compact Network, Poland. All right? And this is a special thing. I mean, look how they sit. They, this is going to be fire between them. Brilliant. So the way it's going to work, I'm going to read, I can't remember them, these statements. And we're going, I'm not going to ask you to respond to that. And the, oppo and the opponent will try to challenge that, right? So, ready? Three, two, one? Yes. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's test the mic. Coming? Works. 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 Perfect. First thing, the first step to solve the problem is to assess the starting point. Data gathered by companies on their carbon footprint are necessary to set achievable goals. How to collect the data in the most effective way? Dominika. So the data is key. The data is gold of the current era and uh, of the business, as probably all of you know. Um, how I perceive the data gathering from my experience, we could of course talk for hours about the technical aspects of data gathering. Uh, and this is key of the technological processes in most of the technology companies. That's probably something that all of you know. But in my eyes, the key to success is creation of ecosystem, first within the company, which creates certain culture, how to deal with the data, how to use it, how to combine the old OT with the new IT. And the second point is to create exactly the same ecosystem with the stakeholders of the company, so in the society around. It makes really no sense for the head of the company, for the CEO, to declare a strategy that the employees do not understand and do not follow until the very last employee in the company. And it makes also no sense for the company to present a strategy that the society doesn't understand because the society, so the stakeholders are key. Pretty comprehensive view. Let's see how Kamil is going to disagree with that, or maybe he will agree, but have a different perspective. Kamil, how to collect the data in the most effective way? Yeah, I prefer the, the different perspective, so it's not a good uh, decision to, to argue with, 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 uh, with Dominika. Uh, first of all, please imagine that the United Nations uh, is not a global international organization, but a global think tank. So to, to address uh, uh, important uh, strategies uh, and agree that with uh, decision makers, especially um, uh, head of states, we need data and, and the big data especially. And if we are trying to, um, to measure such complicated uh, phenomena like climate change, for instance, we need very precise uh, data from various sources. So from that perspective, definitely we are based on data and that's our um, one of the biggest achievement, frankly speaking, UN statistics is the richest source, sources for um, all uh, statistic, statistics, statisticians around the globe because we are simply consuming what we could get from uh, national statistical offices around the globe. Of course, statistics is very boring, especially when we are taking a look uh, on, on reports which has the statistical appendings, you know, extremely boring, especially UN reports are boring enough, you know, to, uh, to, <laughs> to you know, that definitely is very good to not present this during this debate. So, but if we are planning to describe the phenomenon of climate change, for instance, we need to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, to shake a bit uh, the audience, simply to present uh, the data in a user-friendly way, to, um, to explain that we are very close to the catastrophe, but on the same, um, on the same moment also present the 
the entry point. So, so, so also the, 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 the sphere for hope simply to, to provide to the people some potential solutions related to or based on, on, on green technologies, etc. Because if we will not doing that, uh, everyone will prefer to step back from, 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 from the, the, the sphere of knowledge I'm trying to, to, we are trying to explain to the, to, to the audience. So it's very complicated, um, very um, um, also uh, very complicated, let's, let, 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 let's, uh, very complicated, let's, let's uh, simply uh, uh, present it to you that way, that uh, simply the, 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 the wisdom is very complicated. Much uh, more attractive is uh, fake news and uh, uh, this type of approaches. So, so, so our main challenge is simply to present the knowledge in a more um, user-friendly way. It's extremely difficult. Can I disagree with Absolutely, Kamil? Absolutely, you can and you should disagree. Let me sit in the um, middle to make it the, even more polarizing. The, 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 the UN reports are not boring. I, I have a feeling they are complicated, as you said, but I think these are one of the documents that are there, but are not read and analyzed in a proper way. Uh, 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 what do you say? Dominika is right, but we are trying to, to, to learn how to do that in a, in a more uh, effective way. Like, uh, where so, uh, we are simply, for instance, we are using our ambassadors, like uh, David Attenborough, for instance, or uh, Alexander, or, or, the, or DiCaprio, and other very famous people. But still, uh, when we are uh, checking how many people is downloading our reports, especially full version, very limit, limited part of the, of the, of the society. But, but then, you know, it turns out that we knew all that. It's like the risk of the disaster in the, on the planet, yeah? We knew all that already a couple of years ago, or maybe decades ago, there were already some indications. But we, as people, we haven't read that, or we haven't analyzed that. So, uh, and, and, and it's similar, I believe these high-level messages are extremely important, and, and they should be easy to, to analyze, and they should be translated into the everyday language. It's the same with the data within the company. We have, I, I am a big fan of, of KPIs, although I do believe humans matter more than KPIs. But I am a big fan of KPIs, and I believe what is not measured doesn't exist. I, I understand this. very serious this. about this, I know her. Uh, yes, I understand this way of thinking. O on the other hand, y people need to understand what is behind the KPI and why they need to follow on that. United uh, Nations agrees on KPIs? In fact, we are based on KPIs. One of the most famous uh, metrics for development is so-called Sustainable Development Goals. We have uh, 17. Uh, behind that, then, then we have uh, 179 uh, indicators. And behind these indicators, we have a long list of sub-indicators. So definitely, we are based on KPI, especially that we have to achieve all these goals um, till 2030. Uh, and we are measuring uh, which country is uh, is, is, is simply has a, a track, simply has a progress every year, uh, and uh, where we have a gaps, uh, how and what we should uh, um, uh, we should do with this or that country in on, on SDG number five, uh, eleven or fourteen. So all this uh, statistical matrix is, is, is behind that. And frankly speaking, we love to uh, discuss with uh, states based on data because if we will, we, if we are doing so. It's, it's very easy to compare country by country. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also we are able to present to country number eight some solutions which works very well uh, in, 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 in that continent which could be adopted into the other, other state which simply saying for, for time to time very openly that they didn't have a, a good solution for, uh, to achieve this or that type of problem. Okay. So it works. So it simply works and data are needed to, to measure it. Difficult, not difficult, easy, comprehensive, KPIs, people, humans. What tools and technologies are most useful in the data-driven approach to sustainability? What tools and technologies are the most useful aspects in the data-driven approach to sustainability? It's, it's definitely the technologies that probably most of you know very well from, from your everyday experience or from the... Um, discussions around. It's definitely Internet of Things and Industrial Internet of Things. It's definitely artificial intelligence. It's definitely edge computing. Uh, and it's definitely, of course, the, the, the big data analytics. I, I think all of them help. 
and help in a very concrete and very precise way. The companies define their uh, effectiveness increases based on the usage of those new technologies and the results are extremely good. For, for instance, when we look at the um, IoT in automotive industry, the avoidance of crash tests, uh, increase the effectiveness of the companies. It depends on which part of the value chain you are discussing between 20 and 80 percent. So the increase of effectiveness in those areas is huge uh, while using those technologies. Good. Now, the case study title which we have behind us, yeah? Digital transformation and the data-driven economy is the only way to achieve climate neutrality and the implementation of the Green Deal assumptions. Kamil, UN offset mechanism and SDG indicators. How to measure sustainability development in the context of UN cli climate policies? How to measure sustainability development in the context of the UN climate policies? Okay, so let's start to, 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 to describe where we have, uh, the, how we are also defining a problem we are planning to, or we are trying to achieve, uh, to, to, we are trying to solve. The global energy grid is, uh, looks that way that 81% of energy is produced from fossil fuels, 7% uh, from nuclear energy, the rest from uh, green energy. So, uh, so in fact, we are, as a humanity, we are, we are addicted uh, and we are based on, on, on fossil fuels and we have to reduce as soon as possible um, to, uh, to, to, in, in the best, uh, simply to zero um, energy production from, uh, from, from fossil fuels. How to, how to achieve that? Uh, we need to first of all, uh, first uh, invest uh, money and we know how much we have to invest. So we, uh, we, we, we even calculated that. We need 4.4 uh, uh, trillion US dollars every year to achieve climate neutrality around the globe uh, invest to, uh, simply to invest all these capital packages into green technologies like, uh, for instance, fourth generation of nuclear uh, reactors, highly temperature nuclear reactors, wind, water, and, and uh, sun, sun um, uh, energy, and of course also to to measure if. Uh, very risky startups like Heliogen, it is partially funded by Bill and Melinda Gates works. Just to explain to you what Heliogen is, they're trying to, uh, to, to get from the sun temperature above uh, 1,500 uh, degrees Celsius. If they will achieve that, now they, get, they achieve 1,059 degrees Celsius, so they are very close. We will, have, um, uh, we will be able to, uh, to, to, to get from the sun uh, steel production, uh, cement production, and, 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 and gla glass production. So, so that's amazing, especially in the context of cities. Is cities it, is are built from good? that sources. Is it bad or good? Of course, good, yes, no, if no. we will be able to, to achieve this type of um, yes, climate no. industrial um, revolution. So the, the, the yes, hydrogen is an uh, example. The other one, Olga Malinke, is an example. The other example, we need capital in the future to be able to build i generally is Okay, very good. I have one last thing from both of, for both of you, and that's a statement. We all know that digital transformation is a challenge from the leadership perspective. Would you agree? Digital transformation is a challenge from the leadership perspective. De definitely. What's the best way? Mm -hmm. What's the best way to lead the organization? whose goal is to implement the data-driven approach to sustainability. I, I agree with the, with the case study statement, only provided that we treat digital transformation as a, as a holistic process and not as a topic for IT people or technicians. Mm -hmm. So leadership, culture change, creating environment, which mm -hmm. I was talking about, involving all the stakeholders and education. And with this, we can deliver what we really want to deliver and we can achieve uh, the, the targets. Okay, get your point. Camille, how would you respond to that? Let me, let me uh, comment that, uh, the, 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 last, the last part of, of the other of census from, from, from Dominica. For instance, we need uh, um, educated societies. Uh, so, for instance, climate education is desperately needed because if we uh, are not able to, uh, to educate uh, kids especially, and of course adults also, uh, what is the phenomenon of climate crisis? Uh, we are not able to encourage decision, decision makers 
uh, to, uh, to, to simply implement very ambitious steps, which are very unpopular politically. Uh, so, so this type of, uh, let's say, synergies between education, uh, uh, ambition, uh, um, um, ambition uh, uh, ambitious deci decision plus um, the goals which are far beyond uh, the, 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 the decadency, uh, simply the, the climate crisis, I'm referring to the, 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 all the risks will come around uh, 2100, 2200, 2200 uh, so not for our generation, but for our Kids and our our our, our the other the, simply the, the next generations. So, dun, so from dun, dun. yeah, we need to finish. I know, but <laughs> to okay. So the last thing, we need climate solidarity, uh, and Whoa. for climate solidarity, we need climate education to be able to implement also all the revolutions, uh, technology revolutions related to climate. Easy, difficult KPIs, broad measures of the low, low KPIs between the countries, solidarity of, you, of, of, of working together, and the necessity to go beyond IT. We wanted to create a fire. We created a little bonfire here, but it's still good. Thank you so much for discussion. Very interesting. Dominica, Camille, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Resilience, maturity, talents, growth, innovation. The change made us stronger. This all made us sustainable. ABSL Summit. Beyond tomorrow. Building a sustainable future.